Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk through the market details tab in more detail, specifically volume, open interest, and maturities. Along the way, we'll try to keep it interesting with a bit of market color. So volume is the total notional size of contracts that have been traded in the trailing 24 hours. And there's an important clarification. So for every dollar that's executed on the exchange, there is a buyer and a seller. So in a hypothetical $1 trade, even though somebody bought a dollar and somebody sold a dollar's worth, the total volume is still $1. And a quick bit of market color here. Sometimes you'll see people on Twitter or traders claim we are, you know, X percent on XYZ exchange, or we do X percent of global crypto volume. You have to take this with a grain of salt because they might be right, but they also might be overstating their volumes by a factor of two. What can happen is that a trader takes their traded volume and divides it by the exchange's printed volume. This effectively double counts their volume because for every $1 they traded, somebody else also traded a dollar, yet the exchange's volume is still $1. So to accurately calculate volume share, if this trader used the method I described, they would take their share and divide it by two. Open interest is the total notional size of outstanding contracts the open positions. You'll often see it abbreviated as OI. When you have an open position on Kraken futures, you're contributing to open interest. Let's use an example to illustrate it. Alice goes short $1 in Bitcoin. Bob is Alice's counterparty. They traded with each other. And Bob goes long $1 in Bitcoin. Right now, volume equals $1 and open interest equals $1. Now, let's say Bob sells his $1 in Bitcoin. He closes his position. Let's say Charlie is Bob's counterparty and he is now long $1 exposure in Bitcoin. Alice doesn't do anything. She's still short $1. Right now, volume is $2, Bob's initial trade with Alice and Bob's subsequent trade with Charlie, but open interest is still $1. Charlie is long $1, Alice is short $1, and Bob is at zero. Two things tend to increase open interest. New people entering the market and increasing net outstanding contracts. So in the, our example, Bob and Charlie didn't increase open interest. To increase open interest, Bob would need to keep his position open and Charlie would need to match his long with a new offsetting short. So the first reason open interest tends to increase is people entering the market. The second reason is existing clients increasing their position sizes. This can be a function of existing clients using more leverage or depositing more funds. Now, a bit of market color. You'll often hear people say things like, everybody is short right now, or the price is going up because there's more buyers than sellers. As it relates to futures, those statements are just factually inaccurate. Futures is always a zero sum game. For every dollar short, there's always an offsetting dollar of long exposure. A higher funding rate on the perpetual contract or a higher premium on the fixed maturity does not mean more people are long than short. It likely indicates there's more demand for people to be long, which has driven up the price. However, there is always an equal number of long and short positions. In this example, you can see that open interest on Kraken Futures Bitcoin perpetual contract is currently at $24.9 million. That means the total notional size of long positions is $24.9 million. And the total notional size of short positions is also $24.9 million. Finally, let's discuss maturity. Maturity is the time when the contract expires and settles. At maturity, all open positions will be closed at the index price. On Kraken Futures, contracts mature on the last Friday of the month at 1600 London time using the CF benchmarks reference rate. If the last Friday of the month is a public holiday in the US or the UK, the settlement will be done the business day before. So you should check the maturity dates for the contract. It will always be clearly listed in the market details tab. Our Bitcoin contracts on Kraken futures mature at the same time as the CME futures and use the same index price. So shortly after the contract closes, We'll list the following month or quarter contract. And we only ever have one contract open for the monthly and quarterly at a time. So if there's only one month left in the quarter, what do you do? 
In our case, the quarterly contract becomes a monthly contract, and we open a new quarterly contract for the next quarter. It's important to keep in mind that maturity time is set by the exchange, so it can vary and does vary between venues. You can check the maturity time on each exchange. It should always be clearly listed in their contract specifications. In conclusion, volume is the notional size traded in that contract in the trailing 24 hours. Open interest is the total notional size of open positions at any one time. And maturity is when the fixed maturity contract expires. At the time of maturity, positions will settle against the reference rate, and shortly afterwards, we'll open the next period's contract. Thank you very much, and we look forward to continuing together. Thank